How to catch big fish with small bait fish with your host Doomsday Dan. We don't Some need no stinking here. boat. There's my tackle box behind the poles. Fresh water and salt water. Fresh water tackle box. Little updates to that. Cleaned it out. And now your host, guys. Doomsday Dan, the prepper man. Just some more how to fish and stuff, you know. I'll show you how to string up fishing rod. Now I'm stringing this. This is my saltwater pole. One of them, the lightweight salt saltwater pole for uh, offshore. But I'm gonna start with that one loop. I'm gonna make sure the bail is cocked open. And just tie that around the spool. You don't have to do any fishermen's knot. A couple of regular square knots will do. Because it's less likely that you're gonna go down that far. Use all that string, I mean. If you do then you're in trouble anyway, it's kind of your string. So Okay, now you click your ball bail over, pop it over, and set the string down on the ground, put a little tension on it, and you're just pretty much going to just sort of fly on the floor. Quarter inch, eighth of an inch left, a little bit of room, and of course you're going to use some scissors and cut the string. Not me, I'm doing Zaydan. Look at that, 30 pound test. Snap it in two, my razor sharp vampire teeth. Salt water rig and boat rig. So I got 50 pound test on that one. And I almost put too much. See, that's what I was telling you. You want to leave a little room, you don't want to go too close to it. To the spool. Alright, we'll see you out at the lake. Alright, the Everglades. I'm gonna rig up my Christmas tree here. Got about five hooks on there. A little piece of hot dog. I'm gonna catch me some bait fish. Fish on. Baby fish. That's what we want. That's what we want right there. Little fish catches the big fish. <laughs> Baby bass with a hot dog. Go figure. pliers to get the hook out. He's got massive teeth. Yep, fish on. I'm just sitting there, waiting. I'm going to take my bait. Looks like it's alligator mating season. And Big George isn't a boy. Is George a female? It's Georgetta. Wow, he said, she said no. Georgetta said no. I I'm going to show you the hook to show it stays alive. You can do it that, single hook, but it comes off you. So I just wrap through it one more time, but stay above the bloodline. You get it just like that. Fish on! Woo! Something big! Great catch! Yeah, the mother brought me down the dock out of the camera's range, so I couldn't show right. you. A little bit for size, right? All right. Um, after.
after the mugfish, um, I didn't get it on camera because there's no cameraman, but after the mudfish, we're going to leave here and move on because there's too many gators. We're going to a different lake. Boats are nice, but we don't need no stinking boat. No, no, no. No boats here. Ride that lion, Dan. Go, Dan. I like my lion. Don't you like my lion? Woohoo! Riding my lion. Alright, I'm getting out of here though. It's always burning out. Oh, I see. The intro to the RC track. Place for Joe Dirt Bike. I want to thank the RC guy, the radio controlled operator, for letting me use his car. Thanks, dude. Awesome, man. That's a uh, one tenth scale. All right, we're going to do some more live shiners. You all know how to do it already. Right behind us, also, thank you for allowing him. It helps you, you know when you got a fish. I got a feeling. That was pretty cool, huh? That race car. That was a nice track, huh? I'm going to tell my buddy about that, Joe Zerpike. And you'll probably see him out there. Definitely riding his Joe, his uh, Zerpike or his uh, car. He's got a dune buggy. More than likely, he'll bring his dune buggy out there. And when I say patience, patience. I just have to make sure he's alive. That's all. I don't know. When I decide to bring him in, real, in real slow. Because he'll actually drown him. He's still there, he's kicking. We're gonna go this way though, and pop him over there, and then something just rolled right there. In front of me. Right there. Keep practicing your casting like I told you. And you could be as good as me. Hit the weed line right almost where you want to put it. You saw me do it. Go practice in your backyard like I told you, put a weight on the end of your. Oh, I see something over there. Something big came up. Put a weight on the end of your line. No hooks, of course, you don't want to hurt anyone. You go in the backyard and do a little practicing. Not long casting, accuracy casting. Put a paper plate, try to hit it. Anything like that. We can tell a pro to plug me. So you can look for that next video. Doomsday Dang is camping. I'm trying to bring my cousin in. Oh, park ranger. Clean it out. We might have to leave everyone. Getting a little action. I don't know what it is though. Okay. okay? No, it's my net. Check it out. Telescoping PVC net. That's right. If I can make bows out of PVC pipe, why can't I make a net? And a net, she's lovely. And what I do with it, there you go, catch minnows for Larry. Popping around. Larry the peacock bass. Because I'm tired of going to the pet store and buying them. Okay, let's get some more minnows. 
called the attack and retrieve method. Oh yeah, look at that size. Bigger than the ones I get in store. And they're charging two bucks for ten. I've caught in three already. Four. Get some more. Looks like somebody used this for a boat ramp here. Cool, it's all good in the hood. We like babies because they get bigger. And the bass will eat them. And no, I didn't catch my, my peacock bass. I actually bought them. So it's not cruelty to animals. I'm not keeping them caged. Someone else did that for me and I just bought them. <laughs> you know, Doomsday Dan goes by the book. Most of the time. Super Roo. Swim jumping. Like little hotcakes. So, my homemade net is working. Which I knew that it would. Everything I make works. If you know what I'm talking about, go watch Doomsday Dance Crossbows video. And you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. He shoots Slasher Steve with an arrow. Alright, I think I caught my dozen already. My two dollars works! Woohoo! Woohoo! I saved a whole two dollars. Cheapskate! Who the hell said that? There's no one here but me. In the back. In the diner. I don't know. I think I'm going crazy. Oh yeah, big boy. Nice. That peacock bass is gonna get at least that big. 14 to 16 inches. Right now he's only that big. You see him. And then Dan, you're gonna eat him. I might eat him. I might. Who keeps talking to me? Whoever it is, they kinda know me pretty well. And that's pretty damn scary. Shiner still out there. Look at that. Unbelievable. Big one. That's the biggest yet. Look at that big minner. He's a big one. I like leeches sticking in Oh, he's going to be happy tonight. Because I only had some little babies feeding them. I only had little babies to feed them. He's going to be happy. He's a lot bigger. He's pet store. Sometimes I'm scared to put my hand in that mess. You just never know what you're going to get. Mama always says, life's like a net full of minnows. You never know what you're going to get. Wait a minute. I mean, she said a box of chocolates. He could even be a baby bass. No, he's a minnow. Guppy. Whatever you want to call it. Oh no! Oh, oh look at that! Even Doomsday Dan has bloopers. <laughs> All right, let's feed Larry the Peacock Bass. I know he's hungry. Watch closely, because he's fast. Split second, that minnow is gone. It puts it in the belly! Okay, I'll slow it down for you. Doomsday Dan. He's 
the Prepper Man.